going on internet? IG here again today. We're going to be taking a quick look at a new web browser that has come out uh, for multiple platforms and it's called Vivaldi. So Vivaldi is a new web browser that is kind of based on uh, a lot of opera uh, or a lot of opera's heritage. Obviously opera is a web browser that they're trying to trim down and make a bit more consumer friendly and user friendly. Well, Vivaldi is the complete opposite. It, it's a web browser that they're trying to develop for the power user in mind, for the person that likes keyboard shortcuts, that likes productivity, that likes spending a lot of time on the web. And that's what Vivaldi is made for. Now, at the moment, it's in the tech preview too. So it is available on uh, Windows, Mac, and uh, and also Linux. Um, so you can get it in a, either an RPM or a .deb. Um, so it kind of runs through some of their um, some of the background and some of the expectations that you can have for the browser on their homepage there, and it kind of tells you a little bit more about where it comes from. But I guess the good thing about it is that it is uh, it does have quite a large development team behind it in terms of uh, a web browser, and uh, and it's got some pretty cool features both that are baked into the browser already and ones that they're already uh, that they're already trying to work on, such as mail integration, syncing. Um, so to bring it up to par with pretty much every other modern web browser out there. Um, so this basically it has a few priorities. It wants to be able to be fast, customizable and also driven by keyboard predominantly. So as you can tell the interface itself it looks pretty standard for a web browser and it does kind of look pretty familiar if you've ever used Opera before. But it does have it's a very it does have a very distinct clean flat interface uh, which I'm actually really liking. Um, now, in terms of performance, it does use the same sort of uh, web engine that uh, both Chrome, Chromium, uh, Safari, and all of those use. And uh, in terms of the user interface, you can apparently move stuff around and have the user interface exactly how you like it. And for a tech preview, I've actually found it to be pretty stable, and that's one of the other things that they're chasing. Now, some of the features that they include here for the power user, um, one of the things that I really like is the uh, task manager. So you've got um, all the different stats and all the different um, memory threads that are running inside Vivaldi at any given time and you can end those particular processes, see what they're grouping and see which ones are taking up resources and what kind of resources they're taking up. So that is a pretty sweet little tool. They've also got quick commands which are basically it's like an in-app um, heads-up display for the commands that are in the app. So you get to see um, both some keyboard shortcuts for um, commonly used tools and tasks um, and also you get to customize your own in here as well so if you're looking for let's say your downloads uh, you can simply start typing uh, in the quick commands here a bit like what you can in Ubuntu uh, when you're wanting to uh, let's say print something and it will come up in the HUD. Now because of the fact that Vivaldi is not supported in terms of its menu structure in the HUD it has its own built-in in the web browser and this of course can be set uh, can be seen across Windows, Mac and Linux. So these are the kind of features that um, that a lot of power users are missing from the desktops that are chasing a more consumer friendly approach such as Firefox, Chrome and of course Internet Explorer for those of you who still use it I guess. Um, so it's really good to see the, the kind of work that they're putting into this browser and I'll be very keen to see what it looks like in the future but all I can say for the moment is that it actually is pretty snappy. Um, in terms of loading web pages, rendering them, uh, it, you, can't, you, you certainly can't fault it in terms of its appearance. Um, it definitely looks like it's got the, uh, the look and the rendering down pat and that's more than I can say for a lot of other open source web browsers unfortunately. Uh, in terms of web plugins, it certainly is supporting all the latest standards. One of the other things that you will notice is that it is a dynamic theme, kind of like Android Lollipop in that it colors the rest of the web browser based on what tab you have open. So by default, that's a red tab, but if I was to say go to Facebook, uh, for example, um, it's going to come up with blue tabs and it kind of helps you to uh, get a decent feel as to which website you're in and just on quick recognition what kind of uh, what kind of web what kind of website coloring you've got going on there now some of the other features that I do like is tab grouping you can group tabs together and you can also have predefined start screens or speed dials and groups of speed dials 
uh, for quick launching when you're uh, when you're at home, when you're at work, or when you're going to be doing a particular task. Again, the idea here is productivity for power users of the web. And I can imagine setting up uh, various social accounts as well as my YouTube account when I'm wanting to get online for my YouTube channel. And, uh, and then different different groups of speed dials for the different tasks that I get on the web to do. It also is really snappy in launching tabs and switching between them, opening up new web pages. Uh, I guess the priority of one of these, uh, the priority of this web browser being its speed, um, I think it really shines and, uh, and I'm gonna be expecting a lot more from this web browser as we get closer towards the final, uh, final release. But at the moment, you can see all the different notes on the Vivaldi.com website, uh, including notes, which is pretty helpful if you're gonna be uh, putzing around on the web and you wanna take screenshots or add notes and you can organize them with the screenshot um, there in the notes tab. You've also, like I mentioned, you've got your speed dials, your tab stacks, and also it's just saying that it's built on open web technology such as JavaScript, HTML5 and all of that fun stuff. So let me know what you think about this web browser in the comments below. And of course, as always, let me know of any interesting software that you come across available for most platforms out there, especially on the Linux desktop. And we'll give them a look because there's certainly some interesting stuff going on. So let me know what you think in the comments below, as well as what you think your favorite web browser is. And also let me know your thoughts on a web browser comparison video, because I've been meaning to do one of those for quite some time, never really had the time to do it. So let me know what you think. I will catch you all in the very near future. In the meantime, you can catch me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus at Infinitely Galactic, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.